Hi, I'm Tadao of m a d a s k a i r u d e m a d a s k a i r u d e is Japanese meaning you can still use it. So let's repair it yourself and save money, energy, and resources. This is the third video of my 68 Bahabak transmission overhaul. In the last video, I、uh, removed the,、uh, the, the swing axle from the transmission and now、uh, the I started to、uh, take apart the transmission, and the, so this co、uh, video covers up to uh, uh, the point I removed the gearbox,、uh, gear assembly from the case, and, and that also has some of、uh, the, the difficult part. And the, so, I, I'm gonna show you how I overcome that this difficult part. And I hope if you do the same thing on the same model,、uh, the, I think. I hope this is gonna help. Okay, I now stood the transmission like this, and I'm gonna work,、uh, the work on the, this cover, the several screws here, and nuts are here, and then also pop open this. And if I understand correctly, to the, pull the entire transmission, I have to. I'll release the four bolts behind here, but it looks like the nuts are kind of damaged. So I'm gonna work on this first and see what happens. Something is keeping this thing off. This one. So, these are the shift, I think. So, this guy, when I put it back, I have to be careful how it was set. I have to set up exactly how it was set, I think. Now I got the bad spot. I, now I think I'm really sure this bearing was the noise source. You see that, that the, all, the, all the scratches on the ball, it's really terrible. I don't know what happened to the, these balls, but it may be just a lifetime. But anyway, I have to replace this, this、uh, bearing. And I hope. This is all, but I have to pop open the other cover to see how the gears are damaged. I hope it's not damaged, but、uh, let's see how it goes.
so I'm actually stuck here. Oh, uh, they're releasing this, these four boats, and and looks like there are two kinds of oh, uh, there are a couple versions of the transmission Volkswagen transmission. Mine has the four boats, and other uh, looks like they have some like sleeve kind of big uh, sleeve, and. To release that, you need a special tool. That I, I watched so many YouTube videos and then learned. And, and, and someone actually is taking apart this four bolts thing, but he looks like he didn't have uh, trouble with releasing it. But I found, I, I tried to put the uh, socket, hex socket, but looks like this guy has some, some weird uh washer kind of no not wash like a locking washer kind of thing first i thought the all this uh the bolt head is is screwed up but it's not it actually has something and that keeps me uh from putting the uh the socket in it so i have to study uh, the, i have to figure out how how we i get to access this uh the hex head and that is the situation right now and, and the hex head itself looks like it's, it's 16 16 millimeter but because of this locking thing I, I if we can just remove this locking thing you know it, it can be accessed easily but I don't know how to remove this and uh, yeah I have to work on that so I think I'm gonna bend this and 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 remove this guy hopefully i can access it here Okay, it turned out, I thought it's 16, but this is actually, if I put the, that's Y shape wrench, it's 15, but because of this weird, you know, protector, it didn't fit well, but the, uh, oh, looks like it moved. Okay, and now it looks like it's broke. Okay, and this guy is loosened. That's a that's a big progress, I think. What the hell, is this? Wait, but this guy's really like tough. Huh? Again, with this guy move. And once it moves, I can access this guy.
から。ですかね、それ。Okay, two more. I think I gotta take this. Oh, let me check what, what the actual mechanism is. It's a, oh, interesting. It's a spring here, huh? Huh. So this guy is connected to this. The other side also connected to this. Huh. The manufacturer really won't, won't us not to touch this part, huh? I guess. But anyways.
Okay, great. So these two bolts, and this is it. This is this guy. Okay. This guy is a turbo. Yeah, because of this, I thought because the this head. If you wanna, if you wanna take apart the same same exact thing, this is 15. So the socket, socket is 15. It's it's fit well, but because of this this lock, 15 didn't fit. I mean, I thought originally I thought it's a 16 because it's all greasy. I didn't see what's going on inside, so I thought I thought it's 16. I, I got the 16 uh, hex, but the you know I, I tried to torque it and it actually slips, and I, I was really worried. I didn't want to damage this this head, and, and then I cleaned it well, and noted I realized something is is sticking. I took a picture with iPhone and I expanded. Enlarge the the image, and I, I realized something it, 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 that is this, and then I decided to bend it. I think this is this is the way you're gonna loosen it. So if you find I I couldn't find I couldn't find any YouTube video that outlining this part in detail. So I hope this will help if you're gonna do the same thing. But anyways, I'm gonna work on the last one, this guy here, and basically the same approach. I think. But it's hard to access, huh? There we go. Now it's bent. Good. Okay. So torque-wise, it's not really hard. It, 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 I, I could e easily open this with this arm. So it's not really torqued crazy. That's a good thing. But that's just a weird locking me mechanism. And it's connected together. I don't know why it's like this. Good. All right. Great. So I learned a lot from the the other people's YouTube video and, and I'm supposed to remove the reverse gear here. And right now, and also the other person actually they had a, they put the trick to uh, when you pop out this back uh, cover and, and pull the entire uh gears outside it's better to uh the to put that the gear uh into reverse and right now right now it's neutral i i hold this and i can turn the this main the shaft and if i go for example this guy if i turn this way it's so turn this way Turn this way, so that is. I mean, so rod is turned clockwise. This guy goes counterclockwise. This is actually normal. I think this is first or this is second. Uh, I don't remember. Anyway, it's going forward. So I I I pull.
I pull this guy. Okay, now it's reverse position. I put some, I, I found some wood, good piece. They're gonna sit here, hopefully. Okay, then. If I turn this guy, this goes, this goes counterclock. Oh, if I go clockwise, this one, this guy also go clockwise. So it's 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 in the reverse here, and I cannot really stop it. So this is connected. So that's good. So I'm gonna, I, I'm supposed to remove this ring pin here. So I, I got the ring opener. So I got this ring opener. If you squeeze, you're gonna open up. Okay, good. So ring opener works fine. And I think I'm gonna give up this guy. There we go. Okay, reverse gear is off. Great progress, huh? So there's another ring pin here for the main shaft. This guy now shift and then screw. Okay. Okay, this is how it works, huh? There we go. Nice. So I got the gear and the rod. Cool. So I think. I think now we can pop out the 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 front cover. So now I'm gonna I released all the nuts here. It's a 30 millimeter nuts, and uh, to pop up the cover, I think I have to push from the bottom. So this is the setup I made. So I just remove the wheel of the floor jack. It fit in there, it's small enough. So I'll try to uh, use the hydraulic power to push the, the that main, the pinion gear. So I put the wooden piece like this so that I'm not gonna have the metal to metal contact. Here we go. Oh. Nice. There we go. Uh oh. This guy came off from 
here and this was the the, the ground wire I think the terminal that snapped off when I removed the transmission this hole 